Hello everyone! Welcome back to Link's Awakening. Where, uh, I guess we're waiting till we're further in the game to do more fishing, according to the guide. I, I don't actually have the slightest clue. Um... So... Uh, we gotta go to the bay, I believe, for the next one. Um, I think this is Catfish's Maw for the next dungeon, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, and that requires us to go here to Martha's Bay. <coughs> but before that, um, we actually need to go up here now that I think about it. Um, I guess the easiest way is just to run up there. I wonder if there's any warps over in this area at all, because they generally don't seem to be too far apart. So, let's wander a bit, I guess. Um, but make, you know, start making our way up here to see Mr. Wright. I think we can just finish off the entire trading sequence at this point, if I'm remembering right. Um, I don't know, we'll have to... I don't really want that. We'll have to actually see when we get the thing from Mr. Wright, I don't remember what that gives us. Um, I think that's... I feel like that gives us the lure, or maybe not. Um, then the lure is the thing, so... What's this? A letter for me? Oh, I'm so happy. And look, the letter came with a photograph. <laughs> yep, it's still Princess Peach. Nice. Hmm, so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. Hmm, well, it looks like all I have is this broom. How'll that be? Oh, yes, yes. Okay. Get the broom. We give that to the... Uh, girl there. Got a broom as your reward for Mr. Wright, but that photo is not a... Sh <laughs> <coughs> it's still Princess Peach. It's just the current Princess Peach, which is even greater. Like, that just makes it even funnier. It's like, it's the modern day Princess Peach. Like, it makes sense that it would be the modern day Princess Peach, but like... When, when you remember... Yo, know, for those that have played the original... Like, Princess Peach's old look back in those days. And you look at it now, it's like, yeah. That's funny. That it's... Like, it's almost like it's a completely different character. Just because of the difference in the looks there. So... Yahoo! Yahoo! A new broom? For me? It is, isn't it? Okay, in return you can have this fishing hook. I found one I swept off, swept by the riverbank. There's the fishing hook. What will the fishing hook become? <coughs> Alright, now we take that to Martha's Bay. <coughs> so yeah, I think we're done because the hook turns into the scale. You put the scale in the mermaid statue that opens... The thing that lets you then get the magnifying glass. So yeah, I think we're basically done with the trading sequence, which is awesome. I like that. Um, oh. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I know exactly what you're pointing at. <coughs> right there. Yay, secret seashell. Got it. Alright, I just gotta remember how to get down there. Which is right over here at this spot. And I could even get right into the dungeon right now if I wanted to. Um, I just have to kind of, I just have to go down right here and that will take me right into that dungeon. So, although it is interesting because like, it's a stone like statue there, which makes sense. But in the original, it really looked like it was just a giant catfish with its, like, mouth open 
and such. So yeah. I mean, it does make sense that it's not, but yeah. So that's kind of what it looked like, at least to me anyway, back then. Oh, what is that you have in your hand? It's not a fishing hook, is it? You had better let me have it. I'll give you my next catch if you let me have it. <coughs> your eyes open and watch a pro at work. My, that's a big one! There's the necklace. The fishing hook became a necklace. L lucky. Right, because in the original it was literally the mermaid's bra. <laughs> so yes, that's uh... That, I mean that is just what it was. I am curious. Like what the difference is in this in Japanese because... Like, I don't know how you would censor that. Ah, <laughs> <coughs> uh, that's it! My necklace! Give it! Give it back! That's why she also blushes. I'll give you a scale, as I said. Promise, you only take one. Return the necklace and got a scale of the mermaid's tail. How will you use this? But that's also why she's in the water. I believe now she like perches somewhere. Um, I don't remember where or if that's right. Um, but I feel like something like there's something like that. Hi! Just piece of heart. Visible in the water there. Nice. <coughs> also I did hear I did see the thing go off. It's probably right there. Um, oh, we may not be able to finish. Like, we may be one step away. Because I think I need the hook shot to get over to the thing. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just go do the dungeon, get the hook shot. And then we'll finish off. Sounds good to me. Up we go. Catfish's Maw. Okay. This is a little difficult getting into the dungeon there, but okay. Ah, boy. This dungeon. Yeah, no. In the next dungeon, I get another power bracelet. That's what it is. In the next dungeon, I get another power bracelet. And then the magic rod after that. No, not the magic rod. Uh, what what do you get in Dungeon 7, actually? Oh, frick! Stuck between a freaking Helmosaur and a fiery guy. I must admit, the Helmosaurs do look much better. <laughs> In this version. <coughs> Alright, let's go this way. There is a chest here. Compass! Alright. Um, can I go down here? Is this thing I can do right now? Looks fine. I don't see anything preventing me from doing this section right now. This might just be where I needed to go anyway. Gotta break all the crystals. Don't need to break all of them, just need to break enough that I can push these together. Bing! Do 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 do! Oh, number four. Okay. Good to know. <coughs> I wonder if those parts will be um, part of the dungeon maker or not. Like, that would be cool, but I don't know like how that would work in the dungeon maker if it's like it's just the one mini boss or if you actually do get 
the ability to use all four of them. So, I mean, it's the same mini boss. It's just you fight him four times, is all. Link, open. Thank you. Goodness. Ooh. Got it. Break open crystals. The unholy light shall be destroyed. Probably nobody will get that unless you're a Mabinogi player. I did not even see those there. <coughs> and even then people still might not get it because it's generation friggin... It might even be friggin 21 where that really happens with the crystals. I mean... I guess Gurg does do it in Generation 19, but... I don't know. Stone Beak! Alright. I have trapped it in the center. Oi! I hit the wrong button to jump. Arrows. There, yeah, I need the hookshot for that. It's much more clear that that's like a pull thing than it was in the original, though, which is neat. Uh, I know that I get over here with the hookshot at one point. Yeah, I didn't think so. I can't, I can't, uh, jump. Like, I can't make the, over the jumps there, so. <laughs> you gotta use a hook shot to get across there. So. I was like, I don't remember if you could just jump that. I think you can by taking damage, but. That, that's brute forcing it. So. I don't think we're supposed to go that way yet. Do any of these move? No. If you can't destroy a skeleton with your sword, try using a bomb. Alright, because this guy. Stolfos Knight. Boom! There we go. <coughs> Not sure why that hit me. I have my shield. Boom. There we go. Boom! Got him. Ah, can't beat you. I'm out of here. All right, just gotta beat him four times in a row. Also, this chest is empty because he's like, I've got what's inside this box. Come and get it if you can, Master Skeleton, or Master Skull, or something. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I go this way, but I'm going to go this way anyway, just to ensure <coughs> I'm not supposed to go this way. Uh, I might actually need to go. Okay. Thanks for that. Might need to go this way. Might be a later area, but I'm not sure yet. Um, okay, there's the nightmare door. So, yes, this is later. Okay. That's what I thought, but... I can never remember, like, anything of this dungeon at all. To be honest. Actually, you know, I have these fairy bottles. Also, apparently I'm missing a fairy bottle. And I just, what, catch it in a bottle like normal? Yeah. Cool. 
<coughs> set it free anytime you want to get healed. Neat. Does it auto use? I guess I'll find out eventually. Maybe. Maybe I'll find out. I'm missing a bottle then, though. That was the third bottle that I got from fishing. So that's the, th the... Like, I'm missing a bottle. So now I'm curious, like, where the other bottle is. Oh, see, I didn't even need to run in order to jump those. Cheap cheeps. Boop, boop. That piece I can see maybe not um, being like a tile or something. Um, same with like this one. But I guess we'll find out what is and is not dungeon tiles. Probably ow after this dungeon maybe. Ow. I'm really struggling here. <laughs> with the freaking bouncy gel things here. Got it. No, killing this guy doesn't spawn the key. Okay. Oh, maybe there's something else I gotta do to spawn the key. Maybe somewhere above something spawns the key. Smash all the pots, Link. Smash all the pots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I gotta come around the other way for that. God, this dungeon is confusing. Right, because it's this intersection thing. Oh my god, don't do that to me. <coughs> well, you come up here, and then you fight these things, whatever they are. <coughs> and you throw this pot at this freaking guy, and then he literally blocks it with his shield, and it does nothing. And then you're just like, HA! I did absolutely nothing to you. Frick. <laughs> So I'll pot at that guy, and then just, like, push this down, or that over, that over. Got him. Got it. We're done. And that's number three. Okay. That's not helpful. We need number two. Oh, we found number three. Guess I'll take the hearts. I don't really have any reason not to. <coughs> Dungeon map. Probably gonna need that. There's three, there's four. Um, yeah, these are all single. This is probably two here. I'm not gonna be able to see it. Um, here's, of course, the nightmare. Um, actually, no, I think it might be this room. So two, then come back up for three, then go back all the way over there for four. <coughs> I hate this dungeon. It's a pain in the freaking butt. So what happens if I magic powder these guys? Anything? Nothing at all? That's like a boomerang thing. Do I get the boomerang in this game? Well, yeah, no, that's the... <laughs> do, you, do, do you get the boomerang in this game? Freaking yes, that's the whole point of the trading sequence, to get the freaking boomerang. I mean, it's not the only point of the trading sequence, but... It's like, it, you have to do the trading sequence to know how to get to... Like, get through the night, the, the windfish's egg. Um, but it's just kind of like the, the other purpose, if you will. Oh, hey, the switch stays pressed this one. Neat. Here we go. There's two. Go! Oh, you found me! You're a real pesky kid, you know that? How did the skeleton gulp, though? Doesn't have anything to gulp with. <coughs> this guy. This guy is easy, but you have to fight him four freaking times. <coughs> Boom! Three hits of the light key. Urgh, hey, Peter, I'm out of here. All right, now we can go. We can do the thing where we fight number three up here. Now we can go back to number four. 
<laughs> Got it. Shield is nice in this game. Like, I really like the way that they did the combat in this game. This is the best 2D combat they've done. Really need bombs for this guy though. <laughs> Alright. Three down. Three down, one to go. Ow. Frick you. I swear there's a key here though. Like, that's the whole point of this. Ow. Ow. Oh, okay. This probably leads to something, like a key, I guess. Maybe just another part of the dungeon? I'm confused. I don't remember anymore. It's been way too long, and this was always my least favorite dungeon. Like, I always hated doing this dungeon, like, every time. Oh my god! I have to come back here. <laughs> <laughs> Save me! Save me from the catfish's maw! <coughs> Please! Okay. I think I'm thinking Oracle series where they did one like that. Where you had like a pit like that and then you had to jump into the thing. <laughs> Freaking. Gotta take damage! Give me that! Got that piece of power! That was like my He-Man. Like, I have the power! Like He-Man, but just, you know, not those words because, you know, not He-Man. <coughs> okay, that door doesn't open, I guess. Oh, frick. Oh, frick. God dang it. Where am I going? <laughs> Map. Trying to get here. Where did, where was this? That was this that was the stairs. Was it those stairs? Was it these stairs? Was it those stairs? I think it was these stairs. Those stairs. Nah. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm so done with this dungeon <laughs> already. Uh, <coughs> yeah, it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for this mini boss. Like, I'm not even mad that they didn't redo this. Just because, like, I mean, this is really kind of the whole point of Catfish's Maws that you are chasing after this one guy, but. Because he stole your hook shot. But, like, I'm not even mad that they didn't, like, change that. But at the same time, I'm just like, man, like, I hated that they didn't, like, yeah, I hated that they did it. <coughs> and then this is a remake, and it's like, I'm not any happier because they still did it. <laughs> you know? <coughs> Here we go. And now, now we get the true fight where he puts, pulls out all the stops. Ow. Well, at least he did. Once. I guess it's just because... Like, I was right next to him, so... And he dead. Yay, you got the hook shot. It's chain stretches long when you use it. People always say Ocarina of Time was the first one to do the hook shot, but it wasn't actually. It was a link to the past that did the hook shot the very first time. Like the hook shot has literally been in Zelda since the third game. You know? Ha <laughs> 
Everybody always talks about, like, Ocarina of Time introduced this. Like, no. It was around long before Ocarina of Time even con was conceived of. <coughs> so. Sorry to say, but you're wrong on that. So, just, just saying. Down. I gotta go this way. Now they have the hook shot. Now you can hook shot over here. Ta-da! <laughs> rupees. Silver Rupee, you're happy! I, I guess I'm happy. Where, where? What? Why can I not push any of these? Can I just hook... Ow. Okay. I didn't realize I could just hook shot back. Has, has that always been a thing? Or is that new as of this remake? I could have sworn I pushed the things to get out in like the original. Minus. Okay. See now the problem is that now I've been through like the entire dungeon and now I have to actually sit here and mentally track like where do I need to backtrack to. Like you go through the entire dungeon just to get here. You know just to get the hook shot and now it's like I've been in every room, but I couldn't get, like, two chests. Nope. That's not the right way. Minus. Up. It's just like, come on. <laughs> just, j j j just let me do the thing. You know? Just let me do the thing. Chink. Nice. Oh, hi, fairy. I have two fairies in the bottle, so I'm not too concerned. Um, okay, well, I can't do anything there. Alright, I'll come back to that when I get a key. Bang! <coughs> right across. There's the key. Open the locked door. Right. Hat! Yes. I can still pull their faces off. I mean, I know that they're like metal, like helmets, but still. Hmm. <coughs> <coughs> that was just always one of my favorite things. Was just pulling their freaking faces off like that. Ugh. Can I do anything to you? No, not with the hook shot. Sometimes the hookshot actually can be used as some manner of weapon. Oh, hi! Now the real mini boss! Goba! See, it's always gonna be this upper one, I guess. Now it's going to be the bottom one. Now it's going to be both of them. Okay. Just watch for whoever's blinking, basically. Alright. They do that, and they do that. I don't suppose I can use my sword, can I? Cause like the red tunic doesn't affect my. I know Goma's weakness is always the bow, but I'm like I don't remember if this version of Goma was only weak to the bow, like most iterations, or whether there was some ability to use your sword in this version. Nope. Can confirm. Cannot use the freaking bow, or can I use the freaking sword? Have to use the bow. I'm running out of arrows, though. Like, if I actually really have to use the arrows, I'm gonna run out before I kill even one of these guys. Like, what the crap, man? Look at that. Like, that one is still alive in the back. But, like, just how many times I've hit it. Here we go. I only have to worry about the one, and so I can just stay, like, right freaking here. Ow. Okay, that's slightly problematic, actually. <laughs> just being this close to it, since it opens its eye, like, I get hit by the fireball. 
Kind of have to like block the fireball and then shoot it. Although I only have two arrows left, so hopefully it only has two health left. I only had one health left. Okay. Man, I went through all twenty. I went through twenty-nine arrows in that. That's insane. Yeah. No, the that guy's probably not gonna be part of the dungeon builder just because. That was, the Goma there was the mini boss. I don't want to see a dungeon built with that Goma fight in it though. <laughs> Pop. Um, how do I, all oh, right, hook shot. <laughs> oh neat, yeah. It's got the little like, like the, the hook shot markings on it. That's funny. It's just like, it's just straight up like, hey, use the hook shot here. <laughs> Can't use the hook shot from there. It's got the markings, but I can't do it from there. Uh, boop. Pop. Pop. See, Link can jump on enemies and kill them too. All right, so I'm missing stuff. Boom, you did. One of these push. Do I just have to go around? Yeah, there it is. <coughs> Where do I need to go? Three more chests. All over there. Okay. Down and around and up. Four more chests. One of them is the nightmare key. I'm pretty sure I know which one. The others are probably extras, but I might as well grab them anyway since I'm already doing the dungeon. Wee! Jump! Wee! Wee! Because that's probably it right there. That's probably the nightmare key. I might as well just get it. I'm right here. Save myself the hassle of like having to come back for it. Assuming this is, in fact, the nightmare key down here. <coughs> I'll take that. I love his little flippers, though. Like, I really do. I love his little flippers. Nightmare key. There it is. I just gotta get all the small keys and the extra whatevers. Cause I was still missing one small key, so. That I know of. There might be more. This poor Goomba though. Just stuck walking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. That tiny little spot. Um, yes, okay. Or I should say no, I guess. It was more like, can I get over there from here? But I can't. I am hitting the wrong button for jump. Ugh. Ah! Stop taking damage, Link. I need you to not die. Here's two chests here. Here we jump over here. Hook shot to that one. And it's a rupee. Of course it is. Do that. And key. Another ruby. <laughs> Killing me here, game. Killing me. <coughs> well, I got all the chests in the end. <coughs> there it is. There's the key. That's every chest in this dungeon. All right, how to get to Nightmare. Through that stair, which is the one that is 
here, I think. If, if I'm remembering right when we did it, because we went there. No, wait. It's not that. Right? If that led here. That, that was this side. We actually need this stair, which was probably the teleporter one. <clears throat> now, I don't I feel like there's no way to get to do that without taking damage. Um like it's the same distance whether I go that way to that or the other way. Okay. Just go this way then. Like exact same amount of chambers. It would be cool to have some of these like longer chambers just as longer chambers but I'm okay with what we got just because like I like what we got I can definitely see where to improve the system but I like what we got you know it's by no means a fully flushed out complete thing but what we did get was good. <coughs> so, alright. Let's go do the boss. At long freaking last. <sighs> Put the key in and... Boss time. I would end the episode here before we do the boss, but I really just want to beat the boss and then be done with it. Um, just because I don't want to, like, this is the last episode of the quarantine session. I shall eat you! Um, so it's like, yeah, I don't want to, like, start another whole session, like a whole nother recording just for this boss, you know? Slimy ill! Let's see if I remember how to do this fight. Pretty sure I do. Oh my god, yeah. I remember this fight. I hated this fight because it's stupid. Don't worry about his freaking tail over here. Which goes around in a full circle, hits everything. But you gotta freaking, like, pull him out far enough. Like, he could come in and in any one of the four things. Your best option is just to wait for him to show up at whichever one that you're farthest from. Like, if I just stand right here... <coughs> <coughs> like, I can't be hurt. And then just wait for him to pop out of that bottom one there. Just like that. Feel the power of the red tunic! <laughs> You don't seem to know what kind of island this is. <laughs> the fool. <laughs> Get wrecked. <coughs> My throat is so dry. Uh, I, I ran out of drink like two episodes ago. <laughs> so... I'm just like, oh well, got the wind marimba. <laughs> Yay, wind marimba. Shrine. The island's secret in the shrine. Okay. Let's finish off this trading sequence and then I'm calling it here. I. My throat is dry. 
I need food. But I really want to get the magnifying glass. So I'm just going to do that in the very end of this, you know, tail end of this episode here. Before we end things off. And then, when we come back, we can continue into the shrine. Probably one of the saddest parts, well, one of the best parts of the game. You're wrecked. Put the missing scale in the mermaid statue. Do 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 do. Oh, brick. Our invisible enemies. They call it the magnifying glass, but really it's the lens of truth. Got the magnifying glass. This will reveal many things you couldn't see before. That's when you would walk down here and see a whole bunch of these enemies. But apparently I killed basically all of them, so that's unfortunate. All right. Well, with that, this is a good spot to end the episode off at because we got the freaking magnifying glass. We beat the catfish's maw. All that remains is the last three dungeons, which involve us hitting up... Um, this section of the map, I think. I think th I think both dungeons are over here. No, they're two. Of the ones up here, ones up here, and one is here. I think somewhere. Now this is the raft mini game. It's probably is it here? It's at the shrine. I I was at the shrine. I got to the shrine. That's right. I entered the shrine area. Where was that? <coughs> and I don't remember. <laughs> Um, it's here-ish. Ish? Something like that. I don't know. I actually don't remember where the shrine is. <laughs> uh, yay. Anyway, cause, yeah, we found it when we were going through here. It's, I think it's probably this section. It just didn't clear off the map because I don't think we're technically supposed to be there yet. Um, so the game's like, yeah, you were here, but you weren't supposed to be, so I didn't clear it, like, open it up on the map. I think it's right here. Um, but I, in either case, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, feel free to subscribe. Check the video description down below for a link to the playlist so that you can get caught up on any of the episodes that you might have missed. And with that, I will see you guys next time. See you later. <laughs>